Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a hope style poster in Photop. The Barack Obama Hope poster is an image of US President Barack Obama designed by American artist Shepard Fairey. The image was widely described as iconic and came to represent Obama's 2008 presidential campaign. Before we start, I want to let you know that you can find all the resources used in this video in the description box below. Now, first, create a new project. Give it a name if you wish. Set the width to 2000 pixels and the height to 3000 pixels. And if you intend to print out the poster, make sure you set the DPI to 300. Set the background to transparent and click OK. Now let's open the original whole poster so that we can sample the colors used. Once you open it, pick the eyedropper tool and click on each color to save it to the swatches library. The whole poster has four colors, dark and light blue, red and light yellow. When you're done, delete the poster layer. It open and place the image that you want to use for this project. I went with this very famous John Lennon portrait. So the first thing we need to do is remove the background. I will use the pen tool for this purpose, but you can go ahead and use other methods. I will uh, speed up the process to save some time, but take your time to get a good selection of your subject. Once you have that selection, apply a layer mask on it to hide the background. If you see that the mask is applied the wrong way, simply click on the thumbnail and press Ctrl I to invert it. Next, we're going to apply a bunch of filters to smoothen the texture of the image. First, we're going to add an oil paint filter. Set the parameters to 5, 3, 0, 1. And disable lighting and click OK. Next, open Filter Gallery in the Artistic folder, pick Poster Edges. Set the parameters to 10, 0, and 6. Next, go to Filter Blur and Surface Blur, set it to 20 and 10. Next, hold the Alt key and drag the oil paint filter above all the others to create a copy of it. Finally, the Unsharp Mask filter. Set this one to 150, 8 and 8. Click OK. Next, apply a posterize adjustment layer. Open its properties and set the number of levels to 5. Next, add a gradient map. Open its properties, click on the gradient bar to open it, click on the lower left stop and set its color to dark blue from those colors we picked in the beginning. Next, click below the gradient bar to add another stop, set its position to 25% and set the color to red. Add another stop, set the position this time to 50% and the color to light blue. Add 
as a fourth stop, set the position to 75% and the color to light yellow. Click the right corner and set the color to the same light yellow and click OK. Next, hide the gradient map for now and click on the posterize layer to activate it. Since this effect divides the colors in the image into five levels of gray, mainly black, dark gray, medium gray, light gray, and white, we need to make a selection of the second brightest color. So go to select and the color range. Pick midtones. Change the fuzziness to zero. Currently, the medium gray color is selected. Since we need to select the light gray instead, we need to increase the mean and max values a little bit. Once you have the color selected, click OK and save the selection. We'll use it later. Deselect by pressing Ctrl plus D. Create an empty layer above the main one. Go to View, add a new guide, change the unit to percent, and set the vertical fill to 50%. Click OK. Pick the marquee tool and make a selection of the left half. Click the foreground color and set the brightness fill to 25% and saturation to 0. Press Alt Delete to fill the current selection with die color. Next, go to Select and Inverse Selection. We now have a selection on the right half. Click the foreground color, set the brightness fill to this time to 50%, then click OK. Press Alt plus Delete again to fill the selection. Drag that layer to the bottom so it acts as the background. Next, we'll add a yellow border around our poster. Go to select and select all or click ctrl plus a then again select modify border set it to 120 pixels create a new layer then click the foreground color set the brightness to 100 percent click alt plus e to fill the selection then drag the border layer on top of the main one Next, we'll create the shape that the text will be placed on. To do so, create a new layer, pick the marquee tool and draw a selection from the bottom about 500 pixels in height and fall with it. Click the foreground color and set it to black. Then press Alt plus Delete to fill the rectangle with black. Next, create a new layer on top of the last one and fill it all with white. Click the background color and set it to 50% in brightness. Click the foreground color and set it to white. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder, pick Halftone Pattern. Set the pattern type to Line. The contrast is 50 and the size is 2 pixels. Click OK. Open the channels tab. Control click the bottom one called Alpha 1. In the layer tab, click on the half tone pattern to activate it and apply a layer mask using the current selection. Go back to the channels tab and click on the RGB channel to activate it. Make sure you place the halftone pattern layer beneath that of the bottom rectangle. Next, pick the type tool and adjust the size to see if it. Write your favorite text.
pick the move tool and hold control and click on both the text and the background layer then click align horizontal centers so the text is perfectly centered click the text layer set the type color to 50% gray then drag it below the adjustment layers now since the original poster uses Gotham Ball as the main typeface, which isn't free, we'll use a free alternative called Metropolis, which looks exactly the same as Gotham. When you visit the link, simply click the green code button and click download zip. Extract the file somewhere. You will find the font files inside the folder named Fonts. Go back to Photo P. Now double click the text layer, open the font list, click Load Font and navigate to where the fonts are stored on your computer. Pick the one named Metropolis Bowl. Once loaded, just select it from the font list And finally, depending on what you type, you may need to make some adjustment to the text. Simply open the character panel and adjust your text as you see fit. There you have it. Thanks a lot for watching and if you would like to learn something else, YouTube recommends this video next. Take care.